Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Fawal Gyan. You are interested in starting a career in cybersecurity but don't know where to begin? You are in the right place. In today's video, we are going to explore the exciting world of cybersecurity, discussing everything from essential skill to key certification. So let's begin. Let's see cybersecurity analyst and overview responsibilities, skills and certification for the cybersecurity analyst role. Let's see overview what cybersecurity analysts do basically cybersecurity analysts protects an organization's it infrastructure from cyber threats by monitoring detecting investigating and responding to the security events cybersecurity analysts can use various tools available in the market depending on the company's choice they select the tools tools like tenable splunk bitside or cloud strike such sort of tools used to monitor detect and investigate response there are many other tools available like ids ips plus you can use firewalls to analyze the traffic if i would like to say key responsibilities for the security analyst Key responsibility comes like monitoring network traffic for suspicious activities. For example, if any suspicious activity detected in your network, monitor those traffic and work. Then, implement update security tools and measures. For example, the security tools like Tenable, BitSide, CloudStrike, Splunk, such tools they observe. And based on that, they update those tools for such suspicious traffic. Then conduct regular vulnerability assessments. Regular vulnerability assessments means understand the infrastructure and see where the vulnerability relies. For example, tools like Tenable helps to give us the entire details what's going on in your network. For example, if you have a server farm and the Tenable tools is integrated with those server farms, Tenable tools will give all the vulnerabilities in form of report mentioning what's going on with your server farms so that security analysts understand what's going on on the network and where is vulnerabilities and what vulnerabilities they have. For example, vulnerable systems like uh, backward servers whose upgrades are not possible or the servers who's having oldest os running and patches are not available for that such sort of things can be detected with using tools like tenable cloud strike plus the things like where old version of the os or any app is not updated and vulnerable for certain vulnerabilities so sort of things get detected by these tools and the monitoring team or i would say the analyst team they always stay updated on new security threats and their trends let's see what skills needed for the security analyst so security analysts must understand of the networking the basic networking and the protocol stuffs like tcp ip dns and whatsoever well-known protocols are available and the protocols which are not well known those need to be get understood by the analyst knowledge of security framework and their tools like firewalls ids ips sim tools those sort of knowledge need to be there and analytical and problem solving skill if in a situation security analyst is given a task to identify vulnerabilities he should able to identify based on whatever the reports present to him these are few beginner level certificates security analysts can do such as com tia security plus cysa plus or if the security analyst want to do deeper study onto the cyber security he can do CISSP2. Now let's move to SOC analyst. An overview of responsibilities, skills, and certification for this SOC analyst we're going to see in these slides. 
Overview SOC Analyst works in a security operation center. SOC itself stands as a security operation center. SOC focuses on real time analysis and response to security incidents, acting as the first line of defense. So, SOC team basically are the first line of defense if any anomalies, any malicious things detected by the SOC team, they have a role to get it forwarded to the senior management team or give them immediate response for such activities. Not only the senior management or the leaders to entire organization whosoever is a part of this. First line of defense, they say, because whatever the vulnerabilities, malicious activities come across the picture, they see that and they respond to that. Sometimes they just create an incident and send to the relevant team to resolve those incidents or sometimes they try to remediate from their side without sending to the relevant team because automation plays a good role here. So key responsibilities for the SOC team it's like continuously monitoring and analyzing security alerts perform initial incident response and escalate if needed document incident and maintain the incident management system collaborate with other teams to contain and resolve security incidents so for this for the SOC work what skills needed strong knowledge of SIM SIM tools like security information and image event management tools they should have understanding on SIM tools when I say like that the tools like Splunk Oxide, QRadar, RSN Vision, sort of tools which are available in the market and depending on your company what they have SOC engineers should have understanding on those tools because 90% work of the SOC analyst team is on these tools these are the tools which detects your vulnerabilities and then help SOC engineers to understand what's going on in your network and then SOC engineer forward those things to the relevant team to get remediate. So understanding on SIM tools is very crucial. Familiarities with the security monitoring tools as I said like Splunk, Uradar, incident detection and response skills need to be there. So basic ITSM skills are required for SOC analysts to get their work done. Basic certifications, if I talk about for the SOC teams, it comes like CompTIA Security Plus, GCIH, and Certified SOC Analyst CSA. Now let's understand the next role, which is penetration tester. An overview of responsibility, skills, and certification for the penetration testers we're going to see in upcoming slides. Let's see overview. Penetration tester or pen test or ethical hacker simulate cyber attacks to identify and exploit vulnerability in an organization system. What this means in pen test, the engineer perform certain activities to try to expose the organization into the network using variety of the tools pen tester perform these activities and he tried to see what's weakness or vulnerabilities the system has and he detect those vulnerabilities and make a report and send across to the senior management and to the relevant team to get them resolved. Key responsibilities like conduct a penetration test and vulnerability assessment, 
identify, document and report security flaws. Recommended remediation action for mitigation vulnerabilities and stay updated with the new hacking techniques and tools. Skill needed for pen tester. It's like proficiency in programming and scripting like a Python bash. Knowledge of pen test tools like uh, Metasploit, Bob Shoot, and Nmap. Familiarity with open source intelligence (OSINT) and social engineering skills. And lastly, the certification which pen tester should have is like OSCP, CH, GPEN.